Hello, guys and girls. It is I, Aaron Lee, uh, here today. Or you should call me Aaron Halo 18. That is my YouTube channel, of course. And today I'll be talking about a Uh, something about Unity for Xbox One. I'm trying to load the page. Let's see here. Hold on. It's on page uh, two. And it's got three comments uh, on it, too. It's called uh, Unity Free for Xbox One uh, Game Development, uh, published on November 5th, uh, 2013, by Joshua Turner. Uh, Turner. Uh, in, the in this video, in this video, I'll, uh, I'll be talking about... Okay, here it goes. Uh, yes, it is true. It is true developing uh, for the Xbox One uh, using Unity uh, will be free. Unity and Xbox ID have worked out a deal. Uh, through uh, this, uh, this, anyone can develop uh, games uh, for the Xbox One without having to pay for Unity's uh, premium uh, version. Uh, but there is a small catch. You have to be part of the Xbox ID uh, program. Uh, this version of Unity will include uh, the ability to program uh, games and apps uh, that use all of Xbox One's capabilities. Uh, developers will be able to program for Connect and Smart Glass and also make use of the force uh, feedback in controllers. Uh, this is great, great for indie developers. As they can use an already common and user-friendly game uh, engine without the cost. This is really great as indie developers that have signed up for the Xbox Xbox ID program will also be getting uh, two Xbox Ones for uh, for development. Uh, Microsoft will also help uh, promote and advertise uh, promising uh, indie games even if they are still in development that along with dedicated servers uh, being provided by Microsoft uh, makes the Xbox One a very indie friendly uh, console. console. Not only uh, though is this only for Xbox One though. Uh, the guys at Microsoft also are going to make it free to develop for Windows 8 and Windows Phone uh, phones using Unity. This along with the Xbox One uh, version will be available in, in 2014 and the tags are ID, Indie, Microsoft Indie Games, uh, Unity, uh, Windows 8, Windows uh, Phone, Xbox One. 
about uh, the author, Joshua Turner, is a news writer and the one of the main point men uh, who works with game developers to gather uh, information about their upcoming and uh, current uh, releases uh, prior to uh, HGC, uh, I mean HCG. Uh, uh, Josh ran his own gaming gaming blog blog for a year, and is first in interviewing game developers uh, through uh, podcasting. Uh, writer, PR manager, and community manager. And the first, now onto the comments. The first comment is by Russ Sanderlin. And he said, This is a fantastic opportunity for uh, budding game designers. This guy is Tim. And he says, uh, "Very cool, very cool. Having just bought, having just bought the Unity Pro uh, subscription for nine hundred dollars a year, I'm wondering if the Xbox uh, One version will have the Pro uh, features or stick with the free. Either way." Great tool. Josh Turner said, "It's the it's the pro version." That's it for now on that article. I I hope you like Xbox One. I have not seen this Unity on my Xbox One, but I don't know. I guess you can create your own games on Xbox One now, which is uh, pretty is uh, freaking uh, is freaking awesome uh, to me. I think it's really cool, and uh, yeah, and uh, I will do this video, and I'm not gonna get any more jerk comments about my father anymore. And that, and yeah, you who say, ever said the F word, don't ever say that to me again. That's not cool. I don't like when people say hurtful things. It's not cool. It's disgusting. Uh, clean up your behavior. Or if you talk rude, I will delete the comment. If I will, okay. Uh, respect me. I don't use bad language. So don't ever use bad language on my channel ever again. I mean, I know you guys cuss and yell and scream, it, but don't get angry at me. I'm just trying to work out my YouTube channel here. I, 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 I'm, I'm not an excellent YouTuber, but hey, at least I have fun doing it. You know, that's right. It's always good to have fun. When you're having fun and making uh, videos, it's pretty cool that you could create if you have, if you have the brains to do this kind of stuff. It's pretty cool that I created my own website and I created my own uh, YouTube channel, uh, which is pretty uh, awesome uh, for me. You know, I think I think it's cool, but. Uh, What I think about this indie, uh, in uh, I, uh, I used to uh, 360 had uh, indie games. And the indie games, uh, you, some of them sucked. They weren't very good, but I mean, th their art styles. Uh, they aren't pretty talented people, but they know how to design art and stuff, uh, which is pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, some of the indie games are kind of, kind of inappropriate, but that's besides the point. I mean, some indie games can be really well done if they really have the effort and 
I know a lot of people, they, so I've heard rumors from other people saying uh, that people enjoy indie games more than the console, uh, the main games, like the triple A uh, titles, and uh, yeah, people like arcade and indie more. I don't know why, they just do. And, uh, I'm still gonna be, uh, dealing with the Call of Duties and Halo in my life. Because I, I enjoy those games. I like the first person uh, shooter. And I like third person uh, shooter. You know, like, uh, open world kind of games. And I also like, uh, uh, superhero uh, video games, and uh, I do have a I have Wally for Xbox 360, and Ratatouille. Those are the only Disney uh, games I have, and uh, they're very hard Disney games. They're extremely hard. My friends or cousins could never beat these games, but oh well. I mean, they should stick with new ideas, not based on movie. They should, they should do less. They should make the video games based off the movies, but not ex make them like exactly like a movie. Because some some of these movie games kind of suck. They they're not that entertaining. They're fun for a little, little bit. They're they're just not that entertaining. And they don't do really well uh, in the market. I mean, Call of Duty and Halo, of course, they make boatloads of money a year. They pretty much make a hate they make Call of Duty and Halo just about every year. I think it's kind of ridiculous, but yeah. And the multiplayer is really successful on those games. I I don't I don't know. I guess the battlefields are too. A lot of people like those. I do have a Call of Duty Ghost walkthrough uh, video on my channel. And I do have some... I do have walkthrough videos of Dead Rising 3 and Rise, Son of Rome and the Trials. Uh, the tri Trials Fusion is what it's called. But they're for... I've been I've been using Ghost Robo's videos uh, for my channel, and I use Game Riot's videos for my channel. Also, because I'm too lazy to make game a video game videos myself. I guess I yeah I'm too lazy. Okay. Nobody will help me with it anymore, and I don't know why. But oh well. Looks like, well, I couldn't get the audio of the live streaming to, uh, to work on it, but, oh well, I guess it's uh, for the better. I, I guess it didn't really work out for me. And that, that superhero show, or movie I was supposed to make, uh, it's not going to happen. It doesn't look, look like it's, it's going it's to happen anytime soon. Uh, I don't know, I, I just... I guess everybody gave up on it. And, uh, yeah. And, uh, plus I'm, uh... I've been watching Ghost Robo videos today. And, uh, stuff like, like that. And I watched a game writing video uh, a little while ago. Uh, I don't want to make this video too long uh, for you. I just wanted to share some of my opinions and thoughts. And, and uh, I'll share the article with you. I uh, I thought it's from this uh, Christian gamer or Christian gaming. It's called Christian gamer, ChristianGaming.com. It's a website where Christian people come together. And they do all the games. They do all kinds of games. So yeah, I hope you like uh, the these uh, Christian gamer. 
uh, videos I'm making. I hope you like them. And, uh, I'm going to have my Bible study uh, tomorrow. And I'm going to have a, a new member. Andrew Flores is joining uh, for Bible study. And uh, my friend Brian Thompson. I don't know if he'll be there, but uh, Matt Peters, uh, Garrett Gear, and Mark Frendo, and Stephen Frendo will be here, and Logan Machow, and me, uh, Aaron Lee, will be there, uh, too, and, uh, I hope I will have a wonderful evening, and I hope everybody will sleep well tonight, and don't go to bed too late. Going to bed at 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, or 3 o'clock is not the best idea. I mean, uh, it's uh, lights out for me at 11 o'clock. I go to bed at 11. But I listen to music uh, before I go to bed, uh, too. And every night, I mean. And, uh, I, I put together my old, uh, playlist on Sp uh, Spotify, and, uh, yeah, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video, and, uh, please rate, uh, comment, like, favorite, subscribe, uh, view, opinions, and thoughts. I hope you like it and enjoy it, uh, for your feeling pleasure. Uh, guys and girls, and stay tuned for more uh, guys and girls, and uh, uh, drink some hot chocolate, and I'll see you all later.